Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Battle for the Monsters as the Byzantine Empire. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, I, like, we've landed in Greece. We're, we're trying to take back our territory, which is nice. Is there anything we want to do here in our focuses? We can still blow the Suez Canal. I mean, I, right now I don't think the Allies are going to take it back from us. So I'm, I'm a little bit less worried than I usually would be. I will actually go for the 1944. Infantry equipment as well. We're still missing a lot of steel. Get that from the Soviets for right now. I mean, here's the thing. Like, we are going to go into war with the Soviet Union at some point. I just, I just don't know what that point will be. Also, our units are... They don't, they don't actually even want to come down here. Which I understand. Like, Greek... Like, ah. Uh, like, I just, I, just, I just want them to die, right? Pretty simple. Pretty simple request. Are you... Your planes. You know what? Yeah, you all need to come down here. We gotta push our way through the planes. We're not fighting our way through the mountains. Like, that's just not going to happen. What else do you want me to do? Chromium deposits? I, I don't need chromium deposits. I'll tell you that right now. But you know, is capitulated. Okay, so that's one more country down. So, I mean, that's nice. Keep on fighting our way through Greece. Take back our core territories. Which is something we should have done probably a long, long time ago. I mean, our, we have so many front lines with the Soviets. Like, if a war breaks with the Soviet Union, we are going to be in a little bit of a sad state of affairs. Let's see if we can take Alexandria. It's like, because I would also like to abandon Egypt a little bit. Well, not, not quite yet. But, like, once war with the Soviets does break out, we're, we're going to have... So we're going to be at risk. Um, you have artillery pieces. You are garbage. Well, let's actually duplicate you. Let's make you into a co 20 combat with. There's like no support whatsoever. Just so you're only using infantry equipment. Save you under sharks because sharks are cool. Let's try building like five of you. Oh, but now I can't deploy units over here because they want to deploy in Athens because Athens is our capital. It actually was better with Athens being occupied by... Uh, the allies, so now I actually can't deploy troops over here. That's stupid. I wish I could, like, choose to do something. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Kind of. We got troops moving in. We don't have air superiority over Italy, but that's fine. You know what I mean? Get some more convoys as well. Because we have to push our way through this little, uh, planes. Right? the only way, like, we're not pushing through the Alps. Like, that's just not going to happen. I'm assuming, I think they're the Alps. Um, I know our aircraft are still completely garbage. But I really don't have the production to make them less garbage, which also sucks. Okay, well, let's start moving our way down here. There's a lot of American ships in the area. I'm assuming naval superiority is very much in the enemy's uh, favor. Yeah, please, Doc. Don't fight the American Navy. It really is not going to help us out at all. To be on their bad side. Do you think this port's abandoned? It is. So, you know what? Let's go take over there as well. Slow down how much resources they could actually effectively have. But, of course, they've already stopped our invasion. Look. I understand you don't want to lose, but it's it's very important to me that you end up being killed. Okay, so you're almost done your next focus. I'm just I'm scared for like Operation Barbarossa or whatever the uh, focus is actually called. Like it does scare me a little bit. I'll just supplies. It's it's like this way eleven percent. Could be a lot better, could be a lot worse. Hmm. I mean, like, what what do you do? You're guaranteed by the Germans, but that doesn't help me out at all. And I think if I had to clear war on you, you'd actually probably back the Japanese. I mean, I think we might need to prepare for the Soviet war, honestly. Like, I hate that that's the case, but I, th I think it is. 
I think we gotta prepare for either the Soviets declaring war on us or Germany declaring war on the Soviets. I mean, I could declare war on the Soviet Union, but I really don't think that's gonna help us out. The British Raj is in. You know, probably not gonna survive for too much longer if I had to take a guess. Uh, I will have one person defend Alexandria, one person defend this port. I mean, we'll try to fight our way through Africa. Like, if you can get it done, like, I, I won't say no to it. Nail invasion of Greece. Are they going to land in Athens behind us? Well, we have another base, luckily, but... Okay, let's see if we can kick the Americans out of here. I mean, we still at least have a naval base. So that's something, at least. Let's see if we can take over this uh, little peninsula. I mean, I, just, I don't know. Get an offensive line over here. Thank you. Push, 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 push. In Hungary, what are you going to give me? You want to give me two of whatever the hell those are? I'll, I'll take them. Don't see reason not to. We've already got all of our artillery upgrades. We're getting better heavy tanks. Even though I don't know if we're really building any of them right now. You know, let's, let's go for 1936 fighter. Probably wouldn't hurt. Okay, so keep on marching over here. One of you will defend this port for right now because we can't trust the Americans not to just navally invade it. And honestly, I think at this point, we just... I need a bonus for fighter models. Ah, I mean, I might as well get it. There's so many troops here. That it... it, it we're, like, how... How do we make this work, right? And you move your way over to this province. I don't think we can get our way to this port right now. As I can tell, as far as I can tell, there's no Soviet troops in Romania. So that's some that's, that's a bonus we do have. But actually, we can now deploy troops once again in Turkey. You will now be part of another army. You are the... Green army, and you're, again, just maybe, like, push the caucuses at some point. That's something it seems likely that you could do. Okay, all those ports are secured. Pushing our way down Egypt. And what do we need to make these cores work? Because we do need Tunisia, right? Yeah, I mean, it, Tunis sucks. It actually involves us having to invade... Um, Vichy, France. Which is not really what I want to do right now. Okay, are you in a port province? I don't believe so, so these guys should eventually uh, end up perishing. Please stop trying to navally invade me. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, maybe take back Athens. I mean, the Soviet Union, apparently the Japanese do have a war goal against them. Like, I could justify a war? Like, go, how, how would going to war with the Soviet Union right now be the best option? Like, there's, there's no way in hell that's the right option to make. I mean, they've taken Triest. I mean, my only thing is, like, manpower, maybe, but, like, even manpower, like, they've got, a uh, Italy's got a ton of it. And I, I can't think of anybody else we could declare war on to maybe... Like, unless they declare war on... The Allies, I should say, declare war on Vichy France. But I don't think that's going to happen. You're finishing naval buildup. 
Like, you just need to end occupation, because that's the only way I believe that Germany could annex that territory. Gives another front line against Italy. Which I'm sure is going to be... They have 17 divisions down here. Japan's going to run the Soviet Union. Okay, interesting. Are you... Okay, you're all part of Greater, uh, greater Coast Prosperity Sphere. So with Japan and the Soviets at war with each other. God, like, this this is a hard question. Like, do we invade the Soviets right now? Because they're going to have a border with basically the entirety of China. That's a large front line they have to cover. Like, a stupidly large line they have to cover. But can our... Can, like, Germany deal with that situation? Because we can get a cost of belly ready in... Probably 10 days, if I take a guess. Yeah, in 10 days we can get a CB. But I think the Soviets are pulling all their troops over to go fight the Japanese. Yeah, and they have a... They have a rather large front line. This is just a very, very messy situation, I would say. You're still doing fine on both of those fronts. I think we just deploy more troops, hold off on the rest. Mostly, I just want men on the field. Germany tried to navally invade behind them. I don't know what that plan was supposed to be, but okay. I mean, Germany has troops on the front. On, okay, here, here's what I'm going to do. It's super, super, it's like a super, super, super risky. But I think we invade the Soviet Union. Honestly, I think. But I need troops in this province as well. What if I abandon this front? Like, abandon Greece again. Actually, no, we have military access through you. Yeah, I think I, I think I do it. It's so stupid, but I think I have to make the risk. Oh god, am I actually gonna get these troops surrounded? No, so that's good. Yeah, so it's fine if you take back this territory. I don't think there's like any Soviet troops at all. And if, if there's no Soviet troops, we take over all this region like right away. Yes. I mean, it's so stupid. It's so risky, dude. But... Oh, thank you for the infantry equipment. I do appreciate it. We're not War Mongolia. I don't know if Mo Mongolia Puppet State? No. But I don't think Mongolia is going to join... Um, I don't, th I don't think they're going to join the war because of the threats from everybody else. Okay, the guys did get a port back. Germany's putting a lot of troops on this front line. Because, of, because Germany's putting this many troops on the front line, I think we have to. I think we have to. It doesn't really matter where I focus on. Ten days is pretty fast. So again, me and Japan will fight the Soviets. While, of course, we're still fighting the Allies. So I think next means this, this attack. All of you just hold position. Now is a completely... Like, you don't move anymore. Because we don't want to waste manpower on this assault. Germany, don't put troops here. Thank you. And our cost of value ready in five more days. Vladivostok has fallen. I mean, if here's the thing. If we defeat the Soviet Union, I feel like that gives us a lot of power. Potentially. We can already see some Soviet troops already returning back to the front. Uh, yeah, I'm sure this is okay. Yes, yeah, strategically redeploys the front line. We got our Costas belly against the Soviets. And I think we'll save the game again. It's, it's risky, but I think we're going to do it. Call allies.
Uh, green armor, you also move in. Very aggressive. Bulgaria joined, but I don't think that matters so much. Germany joined the war. Hungary, I mean, I've actually kind of for Hungary to stay out of the war, but like this is Germany. This front line has to stay like defensive, okay? While we slowly take over the rest of this territory, like Soviet Union is not worth everybody. Japan's out, like, we're. Ah. <laughs> uh, What a interesting situation we've created ourselves, but I think this is legitimately the best thing we could have done. Especially if Japan's out with the Soviet Union, like their front line is massive. Like so like I there's no way Soviet they have enough troops to cover that. Even with a full like three hundred divisions, I still think they'd be spread out thin. With this kind of front. Okay, let's see if we can march our way to Sofia. Your job is to march your way towards, uh, let's say, Bucharest. And just kind of create, like, mini encirclements. The United States is still up here. You you want to see a sneaky maneuver? We're going to clear war in Finland. I don't know who fi Finland's being backed by the British. Finland will then join the Allies, but I'm kind of okay with that. Funnily enough, unless you declare war first... I mean, they don't have a focus tree. I don't know if Finland can start the continuation war or not. It's something I really don't know the answer to. Yeah, you guys are going to be a little bit more careful. You know what? No, 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 no. One of you needs to take over Baku. Take the oil and then kind of hold the line. Am I going to play more units, actually? Do I have guns? No. Can I build more guns? Probably... Less artillery, more rifles. Of course, uh, build more template. Not template twos, template threes. Low priority. What do we not have? We don't have enough uh, rifles, I'm assuming. Not a huge surprise. But overall, Barbarossa's kind of doing okay. Like, it's, it's so messy that I think it's kind of funny, but... Okay, now that that's done, is there anything I can do to make anything cheaper? You know what? Suppression... Resist... Re, uh... Be, be, be. The press resistance. I think that's honestly the best thing we can do right now. All the other lines are so far holding. Bulgaria should be uncapitulated soon, actually. And we're getting more of our core territory back. There's a lot of Soviet troops around here. We've got to reconquer, like... Like, if I declare war on Finland, like, how many troops does Finland have? 12 to 26. Basically, all this would do would, be, would create another front line of the Soviet Union. The question is, is that what I want? I mean, maybe... Take over Baku. Secure the oil fields. Yeah, no, this 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 is actually looking okay. Uh, we will upgrade our fighters. And where do I want to send my aircraft? All oh, my basically zero of them. I guess I'll send him over the Caucasus. Well, my Air Force, let's let me just be honest, is horrible. Yeah, we did get some nice encirclements against the Soviets. Night vision level uh, six is way too expensive. So I guess we'll go for a close. No. Go naval mission. Like naval mission, I guess is okay. I mean, it's still not actually great for us. But overall, like we've already done. I would say a pretty decent amount on the on the Soviet Union. We've almost got all of Bulgaria back in uh Are they uncapitulated yet? 
Yes, they are. Congratulations, Bulgaria. We're just going to draw our front line with you out a little bit more. If we can take all of Greece, that would be nice. Yeah, so you come over here to kill these Soviet Union, our Soviet Union troops. We have lost about 600,000 men. We've already killed 300,000 Soviet troops. And Japan, do we already have an aggression pact? I think we do, but I will, of course, I will ask for um, military access, just in case that matters. Also, I, of course, I'm not trading steel with the, the Soviets anymore. Let's trade steel with the Germans. But, like, we should be... I mean, our entire front line is now actually connected. So, I mean, that's something. Germany's actually managed to invade uh, Finland, or Norway, so I guess that's okay. But I do think that for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thanks for watching. My name is Anthwam. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Now do I close them down. You want to see me subscribe, and goodbye.